one, I know I said the last uh, video was one of the biggest projects. I think this one's going to be even bigger yet. We're going to be attempting to install a vent fan, plus it comes with light and night light and all that good stuff with it here in the bathroom. The uh, paint in the bathroom, everyone, is uh, looking rather peely. I don't know if that's necessary because of moisture, everyone, or just uh, poor paint. Uh, this seems to be a common theme running through this house here. It's very poor paint. Well, I don't know if I should say poor paint or poor paint prep, everyone. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Underneath of this paint, everyone, there is, actually, if I, let me pry this piece up here very carefully. There is very, like, shiny, very smooth paint under here. And I'm thinking part of the problem, is whatever they did, either wrong type of paint or they didn't prep the surface. But at any rate, everyone, uh, we need a vent fan in this bathroom. So we're going to be attempting to install that, hopefully, up here. we got a uh, staircase right here. Bit of a weird bathroom. Let, let me uh, step out here just so you folks can see this here a minute. Uh, so I'm standing in the doorway of the bathroom here. It's not a very large bathroom. And then uh, to top it off, the, the uh, stairway, which goes up and around the corner here, goes into this bathroom here as well. So the, the headroom in this tub is uh, questionable at best, at least uh, for someone of my stature. And I figure I'm gonna, we're going to attempt to put the vent fan up here. Hopefully, I'm on the floor joists are running this way. Hopefully, they're not running this way. I mean, if they are, I guess it's not the end of the world. But uh, we're hopefully going to run the vent out the side of the house here right above this window. So let's get started and uh, see what's how this goes. By the way, I want just an update on the master bedroom here. We got the trim on the doors here now. It's not quite finished yet. Plus, uh, whoever did the paint number forgot to paint the ends. Uh, <laughs> hard to get good help nowadays. I mean, hard to get good help. Uh, we do need to put the, I don't know what these pieces would be called, back on the door here, these strips. Uh, but we'll probably have to wait until we get the doors back on, get the doors lined up before we do that. And we still need to paint the doors yet. So that's probably the next uh Next big project that needs to happen up here. Well, everyone, another hole to patch in the ceiling. Of course, the first hole came up right on a stud. Right on a stud. Uh, knocking my fingers across the ceiling there. I couldn't tell there was a stud there. It all sounded about the same to me, but... Yep, oh well. So anyway, I drew this, uh, drilled the second hole a little bit over here. When this one appears to be hollow. I'm going to have to double check and make sure there's enough room between this here and that stud. I don't know if you can see it. If the stud is... Or actually, I call it a stud. The joist, that one. The joist is right there. Hopefully there's enough room in there for this event. There should be, I wouldn't think. Okay, wish me luck, everyone. We got the box marked out here. We're gonna go ahead and cut that. The best thing I've always found for cutting lath and plaster, by the way, seems to be a jigsaw. That seems to do the easiest job on it without tearing it up too much. Maybe I better keep this wound care pack uh, close by. Well, one large hole drilled. Yeah, I better get this uh, cleaned up before uh, Mrs. R.D. Allen gets home. Oopsie. What a mess. Wow.
Okay, everyone, got the box one cut in here. This is gonna be a three slot box. Now I'm gonna cut a box in here. This is gonna be a double slot. What we're planning on doing is gonna have the GFCI reset down here. Next to probably the vent switch. And then up here, we're gonna have the three lights. So again, we got the light on the medicine cabinet. We got the light that'll be up on the vent. That's just around the corner there. And then also the night light that's up on the vent. So that'll be the three lights up here. At least that's what we're thinking anyway at this point. So I'm gonna get this one cut here now. Uh, I don't know why, but it's an extra piece of wood down here. I don't know what's, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. No idea. Okay, I'm down in the basement here trying to figure out where the uh, wire for the lights up in the bathroom go. I think I've got it here. It's this one right here. This is the uh, vent for the bathroom. And then there's a wire going up right behind that vent. And that uh, switch is, of course, right next to the vent there. So we got the wire coming out. goes down along this wall here. Just uh, follow that. goes up along in there into this room. Just, uh, just follow this along here, man. It's quite interesting. goes up into uh, the wall here. I'm not entirely sure what's up above here. I have no idea. That's, uh, let's see, what room would this be? That must be the office. I think this is the office under here, I think. Everyone, don't quote me on that. But it goes up into the wall. Then we got a wire that comes back down. Presumably, it's going up into there, coming back out. goes into this uh, junction box here, which has a couple of wires coming in and out of it. Uh, rather suspicious-looking uh, section right there. Not sure what's going on. I don't know that I want to know. Hopefully, you can see that fine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it splits off that way into another junction box over here, which has a couple of wires coming up off it. Don't worry, it, it keeps going, it keeps going. This, this just keeps getting better. Uh, there's, I'm guessing that one, this is the feeder wire right here, this white one. This goes off into the uh, main basement room here again, keep following along, into this junction box here, uh, which has a whole bunch of wires coming in and out of it. Also very poorly installed, okay, yeah. And then we got this wire. One of these, I'm guessing, I'm is the feeder wire. I'm not sure which one here yet. Going into the other room. So there we got that one there, that big one. And then we also have, where is the other one? There's that one there. Okay, there's the big one yet. And there's that one. So that one there looks like it is dropping down into the panel as is. Oh, this one is going into the light here. Okay, and this one's going into the light. Which then goes down into the panel. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who did the wiring in here, but they should be fired. Fired. Now time to figure out which one it is. Yep, found the breaker, everyone. Power is out. Now we can now work on that box, get that one out, and hopefully get the new one in. Okay, but I know the light isn't real good, but hopefully you can see this. This is how the wire was inside that metal box. I don't know if you can see that, but that is bare copper in there, and that is the way it was. Everyone, I could see that in there when I opened the box up. 
I don't know why this is like this. I mean, the other wire, uh, I guess it has it a little bit too, doesn't it? Yeah, that one does there too right there. Interesting. Just, yeah, these older wires like this, one don't like them. Don't like them at all. Uh, for now, obviously, they're going to stay on, but uh, once we redo this bathroom, uh, these wires are all going to go. But for now, we'll just try to reuse them. So I'm going to probably put a new piece of wire on that. That's what I did down here too, by the way. I've got a new piece of wire on that one. It was just too short. Not that there was anything wrong, it was just too short. So I got some new wire coming up in the box. This one here, I'm gonna bring down into this box here a minute. Got the uh, lower box in here. Again, this is going to be the GFCI and the switch for the uh, vent. At least that's the plan at this point. Uh, so I got the wire from the vent coming in here. It comes in the closet, by the way. And yeah, it just uh, runs in right there. I'll probably patch that up, hide that somehow at some point. Again, and we're going to be taking out that closet. So I figure there's no need to uh, like get all fancy with this. I'd have to like somehow get holes up in the wall and then you have to pet and nah, just We'll just run it through the closet for now. One. Uh, so that's that wire. And uh, then the wire that's going to power from here up to the upper box here, the three gang box, power again coming in and then power going out to the uh, closet that's behind here. So now we'll get the upper box set up. this up here and i could have sworn i just got poked in this uh oops sorry dropped, dropped the camera in this finger here i then i bent it wrong and could be i uh, just you know get that little twinge or something but i could have sworn that was getting shot um power's off the light's off hmm confused here one surprise man with the way this house is wiring and you know the neutral or something it could be something going on just something to uh, keep in mind when you're doing this seven uh, just because you shut the power off the light goes off doesn't mean uh you don't potentially have power here yet, so gotta be careful with this, and I am somewhat being careful, sort of, not really, but uh, yeah, just something to keep in mind, especially when you have a uh, janky wiring mess like we got. Well, this isn't janky, but <laughs> now, whatever's going on in the basement is quite janky. <laughs>
Okay, well, I think that part of the electrical is done. So yeah, I should be able to turn the power back on here. We should be able to put the uh, these lights back on and the closet lights should hopefully work here again as well. So let's go uh, find out if that's the case or not. Hey, look at that, we got light. And let's see if the light in here works. I can go. Okay, well now for the uh, fun part. We gotta drill throw through the outside wall here to the inside. And of course, make sure we get in the right spot. So center line on the window here. So actually right about where my ladder is here. I need to be in there, so I have to move my ladder over. Uh, I've got the bottom piece already up here already. Uh, it's actually gonna be through this piece here, 29 inches from the top of the window I measured. Uh, for those of you who've never done this before, a little tool like this, I'm not sure what they're called. This is a side swiper two used for getting the, uh, the vinyl siding off. So we'll get that off of it, and uh, I'm not sure what's behind it. We'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole here, and uh, we'll, we'll check inside, make sure it's in the right spot, and then make a larger hole. Just gonna start with a small hole here, make sure we're in the right spot first. I think that looks uh, pretty good. Now we'll make the hole bigger. There's a hole in the house. And if you look in that one, you can see the light from the bathroom shining up there. Bingo. Yeah, just like that one, slid it in, installed the uh, vinyl, which uh, by the way, just had to clip that back in. So that's what that tool is for, by the way. You get underneath there, pull this piece down, just clips back in. Of course, I'll nail this piece up here first. Now I'm gonna seal this up with some expanding foam and uh, screw it up here and we should be good on the outside here. Go back inside and connect it on the inside. And I did check, by the way, to make sure this is long enough to reach to the hole on the inside. It is. It's perfect. Okay, well, moment of truth. We're going to see if we can uh, put the box up in there. I need to run the wires into the uh, box on the other, yeah, that uh, those two holes there. And then see if I can get this one on. Uh, it is supposed to be screwed, if I understand it correctly, from the outside of one. Uh, unfortunately, unless I, like, cut a huge opening here, that is not going to happen. And uh, rather than cutting a huge opening, I think I'm just going to try to stick it on. It does have tabs that are supposed to hold it. And then maybe see if I can run the screws in from the inside into the uh, plastic. So let me get the uh, wires ran inside here a minute. And then we'll uh, probably even connect. Uh, the wires aren't quite long enough for that, I guess. Now we'll just get the wires ran inside there and call it good for now. Okay, we got the box up in there. Now the fun part, I need to somehow get the duct, which I don't know if you can see it, right through that hole there, lined with this and somehow connected to it. Again, there's no, no space here unless I cut in a much larger hole. Which, at least in installation, when I mean, they show you, you know, from the top down installing this, that obviously is not going to work in this case. So, yeah, we're install or try attempting to install it from bottom up, I guess. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, got to somehow get that on there. Okay, in about 45 seconds of uh, finagling later with a screwdriver and just enough room to get my hand up there, I got it in. I'm probably going to see if I can get a screw through that one just to make sure I hold it. I don't think I'm going to get a screw from this way, so just a screw from that way should be good, and then we're going to mount the four screws. Um, I don't think I mentioned this video. I did put a board or brace up on this side. I don't know if you can see it right there. 
yeah, right, right there, so I can screw this side into as well. Okay, we got the uh, box mounted up there along with the uh, wiring all tidied up. Now to uh, put the blower unit itself on and the light. This shouldn't uh, take too much. I just uh, plug into the box up there. I think there was there a couple screws. Yeah, I think I put the screws. Yep, there's the screws that held that back in. Not sure how this gets mounted on. We'll figure that out here once we get that up there. Plus, uh, got the directions if I need them. I had the directions out here so I knew what color wires went where. Well, one moment of truth. I got the uh, bottom plate uh, screwed up as well as the blower unit installed. There's just a couple of screws. And then this uh, piece right here just kind of hooks up and slides over. Got the light bulbs installed. I don't have any night light bulbs here, so I can't test that at the moment. But what do you think, Evan? Is it going to work? So this switch here should be the main light. And yes, indeed it is. That is the main light. And actually, this, oh yeah, that's right. This one here should be the blower. Yep. Probably not going to be able to tell so much on camera, but I can hear it running. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That job is done, Evan. That was definitely a big job and also uh, very, very messy, I might add, too. Just out of curiosity. Uh, so that's the, uh, just that light on. I gotta say, those, uh, those throw quite a bit of light here. Definitely, uh, definitely liking these LED replacements, by the way. Very, very nice. Highly recommend doing that if you watched that video here a couple episodes back. So with that, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And uh, till next time, hopefully the next uh, project won't be quite as, uh, quite as difficult as this one. Or messy. <laughs>